Hi, I'm David Cook, and Lo-Fi is my entry in the Hackaday Prize. Lo-Fi is a low-power, low-cost way of connecting sensors to the Internet. The interface is extremely easy. You don't have to program it, just plug in the sensors. Lo-Fi achieves low power by being in deep sleep mode most of the time. It wakes up every quarter of a second to check the sensors and to do any transmissions necessary. On average, it consumes about 18 microamps of power, which means it'll last 10 years on a AA pack or one year on a coin cell. But the real wow factor, the real differentiator of Lo-Fi, is how inexpensive it is. Everything you see here is only $2.43. You finally can put sensors throughout your house, yard, and office. Lo-Fi is all about connectedness. One or more Lo-Fi senders send their information to the Lo-Fi gateway. The Lo-Fi gateway sends that information on to either a personal computer or via Wi-Fi to the internet. The gateway connects to a variety of different receiver footprints. I'm going to demonstrate the progress of Lo-Fi by showing you how easy it is to connect it to the internet. The first thing you need to do is plug in the USB cable. Then plug the other end of the USB cable into the Lo-Fi gateway. We're going to be using as our, as our public repository, we're going to use data.sparkfun.com because it's free and it's open source. I'll do go by demo. It wants some fields, so let's copy some example fields and save it. Let's open the repository in a second window so we can get back to it and see it come in live. And then let's copy the example URL for sending data and paste it in here. Okay, so this is the repository and it is live. I have a couple of lo-fi senders. This one has a vibration sensor and a light sensor. I'm going to plug in the battery. And I have another sender and this one has a tilt ball switch on it. and you can see the data arriving. In fact, if I do a couple more vibrations and some tilting, you'll see that I have different sender IDs, 89 and 62, because I have two devices. It was just that easy to get my sensor data up to the internet with Lo-Fi. Lo-Fi is small enough to fit in a Tic Tac box, so select the one that's appropriate for your frequency, Add a tilt ball switch and some Velcro. And you've got a garage door monitor. Take a bead jar and add to it an infrared reflective sensor circuit. And you'll know not only when someone has accessed the box, but whether or not the mail still needs to be taken out. Gut an iPhone charger and add to that a coin cell. Lo-Fi, disguised as an iPhone charger, uses its built-in temperature sensor and a light sensor you provide to monitor rooms in your house without looking too out of place. This M&M's candy tin has a transparent lid and it's the perfect size for an Adafruit solar panel badge. Lo-Fi can monitor the garden during the day using the solar panel and uses a coin cell at night as backup. To monitor a pill bottle, select a vibration sensor with Goldilocks sensitivity. That is, it's not too easy or too hard to set off. Then add a light sensor with a blue filter. This supports independent living by letting you check and see whether pills are being taken on schedule. Take a non-contact thermal temperature sensor and put it in pulse width modulation mode. Then add a resistor and a capacitor to form an RC network. Put it in a metal case with some magnets and sugru. It's magnetically mounted and it answers the age-old question, did I leave the stove on? Yes, I did. Everything that you've seen is complete and published. What remains is to get the Wi-Fi module working and to publish the gateway code. Lo-Fi is completely open source hardware and software. The schematics and partlists are in the system design document. Thank you for watching.